19, verse 38. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews. What I want you to see, Joseph of Arimathea, which was a rich man, he was a disciple of Christ, but secretly. You heard what T.K. Kirkland just said? He says, stay low. And what did he say? And flex occasionally. Joseph of Arimathea, of Arimathea stayed low. He was a disciple of Christ, meaning a student of Christ, secretly for fear of the Jews. What does that mean? If the Jews had found out, meaning the Pharisees and the scribes, that he was a follower of Christ, they would have tried to destroy his money. Mm -hmm. That's what we saw with Kirk Frank, not Kirk Franklin, damn. Uh, Nick Cannon and Deshaun Jackson. Read 38 again. Verse 38. And after this, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but secretly for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate gave him leave. So he used his influence to get the body of Christ. He was a rich man. He had influence because of his wealth. And he used his influence to get the body of Christ and bury him. This is how our brothers and sisters who's in that entire entertainment field and whatever else, government, whatever, because a lot of people watch us, that's how you got to roll. Roll secretly and support this truth. We're going to show you that too. Give me that 1 Timothy 6, 17. And what I'm saying is not coming from a place of covetousness. It's coming from scripture. I'm going to show you that right now. First Timothy chapter six, verse 17. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded. I want you to read this again. Go ahead. Charge them that are rich in this world that they be not high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches. Why is it uncertain? Because you can lose it. That's what Nick Cannon feared. That's what Deshaun Jackson feared. That's what Joseph Arimathea feared. I can lose these riches. Go ahead. But in the living God, who giveth us richly all things to enjoy. Go ahead. Verse 18. That they do good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute. Y'all see that? That they be good, that they be rich in good works, ready to distribute. They have the funds. That's Joseph Arimathea's job. That's what Husa, Joanna, the wife of Herod Stewart, that's what she did. That's what the men and women did. They supported Christ behind the scenes. Read it again. Willing to communicate. Willing to communicate. Read. Laying up in store for themselves a good foundation. Because if you do that, you're laying up in store for themselves a good foundation. Go ahead. Against the time to come. Against the time, because destruction is coming. Go ahead. That they may lay hold on eternal life. All these Hollywood stars, these entertainers, whatever they are, they want eternal life. A lot of them do. Not all of them, but some of them do. If you do, verse 18 is telling you what you have to You can't be on the front line like the rest of us. Stay in the background, be a secret follower, and support this truth. Does everybody understand that? I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha. Kodash. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father, the Most High, in the name of His Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Sincere salute to you, brethren, followers of this truth, and shalom to the elect. Okay, so anyway, this video clip was sent to me by um, the elder brother of the DC camp, uh, Monagon, camp leader. Uh, Monagon. So uh, we was talking about it a little bit. I'm not sure how uh, clear uh, he said the um, that Nate was asking. I believe was, he may have heard it from a brother. I'm not sure that Nate was asking Bishop Nathaniel was asking for sixty thousand or some money. You know how things get around, so I don't. I can't clarify that. But that's what this video was primarily was about. So. Um, I'm not going to go too much on that because I didn't quite hear it, but it seems like that's what he's putting out there that to donate money. And we're going to show you through the scriptures. He is on point with some of it, but then he's off because Kyrie Irving is not a believer, right? He's not a believer of the faith. He's not in nowhere near on this side of the doctrine. 
Now, us in IUIC, we differ in doctrine, but we pretty much are on point with what we teach, you know, the, um, the, the you know, the common parts of what we teach is pretty much the same. It said they go off on a name, they go off on MOTB, and probably a few other things, but for the most part, we teach the same thing. So you can clearly see that Nate, what he's saying is correct, but this guy, let's take a look here. <laughs> Kyrie Irving donates 60000 to the NYC's oldest black Muslim school. Now, in all that marching that you did, you went and marched down and marched blocks and blocks and stood in front of that school. And I just think Nate came out too quick asking for the, for the bag. You know what I'm saying? He came out too quick. If he can hook himself a celebrity, that lets you know that this is not really about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah to these guys. This is what I believe anyway. A lot of you IUIC um, people who hate what we say and say we hate on him, and it's not the case. This is clearly proven that all that was not of the Lord. You know, it was of the Lord, but not in righteousness. What I mean by that, the Lord does all things, even on the left hand side. But this is not a righteous way. You go march down there. Look, the Most High set up Kyrie Irving to do what he did. And everything Nate is saying in there, I said in the previous videos. If he believed in the truth, all he had to do was donate. Believe even Shaq kind of stayed hidden and played it in his theater. And Shaq was just trying to cover his ass. He's, he's, he's on the cooker too. So they're trying to come out of something that they're not meant to do they're not prophets he's a basketball player and i'm starting to believe as my next video probably will come up i i'm starting to believe that a lot of this was set up so they can have an excuse to cut us out on the airwaves and we because we're a nuisance anyway um brooklyn next superstar guard kyrie irvin has a long, uh, lengthy history in the black community. Um, Kyrie Irving pulled up an elementary middle school this week and dropped a 60K bag to its oldest black museum school in New York City. That my, uh, uh, that's my former teacher. Big ups to this bro. Okay. This is all the cover-up scandal. You know, it's... All those athletes, and I'll say this, I believe a lot of those athletes really want to do that, <clears throat> you know. I believe um, there was a couple of athletes in Baltimore where we are that, um, from the Ravens that want, to, from what I understand, they wanted to do things, but they couldn't do it. Floyd Mayweather wanted to do it, but they couldn't do it. It's all contracted. And he's going to write that off on taxes. 60000 is nothing. That's a tax write-off. Not knocking it to a degree, but everybody's going to look and think he's just done such a great thing. But he hasn't, all that marching and all the stuff that he followed as far as the so-called black people and the Hebrews, the Negroes, no money went there. What about Dalton, that, you know, off guy that brought that out? It seems as if the puppet masters are still pulling the strings. No getting away from that, man. Anyway, we're going to read some scriptures. Amos 8 and 11. It says, let me see where I'm at. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, well, no, that's not it. Salakia. Romans 4 and 5. That's what I wanted. One man esteemeth one day above another. And then you have another man that esteemeth every day alike. Basically, don't have confusion. It says, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. So, Kyrie Irving would have to be fully persuaded, you know, in his own mind. Not that he might donate some money, but, you know, you have to be fully persuaded. You're not going to really donate money to something you don't really believe in. This is also proven that 
go donate to the Muslims. I don't care about them. They're not anti whatever you want to call it. But those guys are claiming to be Hebrews. Don't let them do it. Seems that that's tend to be the problem. Anyway, it says, let me go to Micah. Micah 3 and 11. The heads thereof judge for reward and the priests therefore thereof teach for hire and the prophets therefore divine for money. Yet will they lean upon the Lord and say, Is not the Lord among us? None evil can come upon us. Let's look up divine. Or divine. It says relating to proceeding directly from God. Right? Being a deity. God-like. Yep. Heavenly God-like. Clergyman. Theologian. You get the point. You get the point. That's what it is, man. Let's go to Ephesians 4 and 4. Uh, 4 and 4. There is one body and one spirit, right? One body, one spirit. It says, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one power and father of all who is above all and through through all and in you all. Right. So we're kind of supposed to be in the same mindset, the same spiritually spiritual mind, even different parts of the body. Now, Kyrie, if he was following, let's say, Great Millstone, he would already know. Let me not blurt this out. And, and there would be a form of order and then he would do his part the scripture Nate read Bishop Nathaniel read I'm not against that scripture makes sense it's alright to get donations and for men of reputation to support the truth nothing wrong with that but it seems his bishop kind of jumped the gun and just saw the dollars and saw the bag that's what it sounds like uh, Ephesians 4 and 16 and it, the Israelite uh, his uh, fans will come in and they would make these comments then normally when I comment they don't answer back because they get confounded and well, if they do I'm not going back and forth it's just what the truth is half of them I don't think watch the whole video they just see it and think you know he's just getting on Bishop Nathaniel and I understand you know you you, you have your teacher you love your teacher and you don't want nobody to correct them. You know, it's kind of how it goes. Anyway, um, it says, verse 16, from whom the whole body is fitly joined together and compacted by which every joint supplieth according uh, to the effectual working in its measure of every part, make an increase of the body unto the edifying itself of love and love. So if Kyrie Irving was the body of IUIC, he would be perfectly joined with them to some degree. And he would be the supplier or one of the suppliers. I'm sure they might have other celebrities that follow them. I don't know, but he, he saw that. And I have no idea why everybody see a celebrity wakes up and they go running on. I hear Sakari supposed to, Go run, uh, go down to the Barclay Center December first. I'm not sure, but this is what I hear. I don't get it. You know, if the Lord ordained them to be in the truth, they would be in the truth. They wouldn't be in a so-called. Well, I'm not going to say anything wrong. I said, but they wouldn't be playing basketball or jumping through hoops or throwing footballs. Which, if that's what they do, that's what they do. That's their profession. That's what it is. This is our profession. And Nate made a good point as well. Let us do it. But that's what I've been saying. And then one of his followers gets on the channel and say, hey, you're you're going off. But Nate just said it. Bishop Nathaniel just said it. I don't know. They maybe need Bishop Nathaniel to say it to give the okay. Um, anyway, 
um, it goes on to say, because, you know, we got to, we got to be together and perfectly joined together, you know, in, in this, in this spirit, you know, it's, that's why it's called it the Holy Spirit. It's a set apart spirit. Let me go back up to here and let me go read a little more on this. It says, verse 13, well, the perfect, it says 12, for the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying in the body of Yahweh till we come in unity of the faith and of knowledge of the son of, uh, of son of Yahweh unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh that we henceforth be no more children tossed to and fro and from every wind of doctrine. So we also understand the Lord's prayer it says in that Lord's prayer it says, give us Lord our daily bread. You know, Jake want the whole loaf, you know, Jake wants, Jake wants the, the bigger portion. And then the excuse is we're building for our people and help educating and lifting up. Well, you can do that if that's what you want to do. Everybody's all for it, but we see it never really goes anywhere. Everybody is for helping the black community, helping lift up, lift the black community. But meanwhile, there's more rap music, there's more drugs, there's more guns, more violence, more death. And you're not putting a dent in it. Because then you got to get the, the people will have to wake up and only the Lord is going to wake them up. It seems like there's a little arrogance where, you know, Jake feel that he can wake the people up, right? If the Most High really wanted Kyrie to wake up fully, because you got people, just because you know you, you're an Israelite, an Israelite doesn't mean that you're fully awoke. You know, it's a difference between awake and woken. So, I don't know. I just think that... um we can see now, see the Lord, I think Luke 12 says nothing in secret that shall not be revealed. As I said before, I believe that Bishop Nathaniel got his army up and they call this Kyrie's army. That's crazy. With Kyrie's army, Kyrie donated 60,000 to the Muslims. Now, I don't know if he's going to donate 100,000 to, to, to the IUIC or a couple of dollars. I guess if he did that, that would be an issue for him because of the league, you know. So I don't know. I don't know anything about it, but it just seems that a whole lot of this could have been avoided. It's just so much going on. We have to, a lot that we're dealing with in the world in general. And then it seems that Nate, Bishop Nathaniel, got up, got on planes or we maybe was in New York and just marched on down to the Barclays Center just for Kyrie to donate money to the old black Muslim school. That's kind of crazy, kind of strange. But hey, what can you say? It's all starting to show that Bishop Nathaniel may have been doing this for vain glory, maybe for some dollars, maybe for some clout, I don't know. That was not necessary. His whole army. And then the pe people said Kyrie's army is out front. You know. That's like deity worship, man. The Most High's not with that. The Most High said he's a jealous power. You know, I don't know. I'm not uh, uh, going in March 3,000 deep or 2,000 deep for some basketball player that... <laughs> And I understand the support. So if you're going to support, a lot of people have that problem. If you're going to support, do the things that needs to be supported. You know, the Bible tells you clearly about support, right? So when you are in the body of your 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 people, you know, that's what you support. The rest of the world, he said, John 17 and 9, I said, pray for them, I pray not for the world. So. He doesn't know that Kyrie is really in the truth. So that's crazy. That's all I have on that. Shalom.